Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. It's Sunday. You know what that means. I'm here with my friend and co-host. It is Ian, and this is a special one to me, actually. I have no idea what the fuck we're doing, as usual. <laughs> um, as a lot of you probably don't, um, this this uh, game, at least the Steam version, has eight reviews. Shit. <laughs> it's a rather low number. Um, Jason Shiga, the, the person who made this, is quite the cartoonist. I really like him. Um, he's not the most famous one by any means. But this book, meanwhile, uh, actually was a physical comic book, a physical interactive comic book uh, that I read back in middle school, so years ago now. Um, like, I think it's been like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six or seven years, six and a half years um, since I read this, like the first time. And I really enjoyed it. It stuck with me quite a bit because it's like such a unique concept. I have the physical book in my hand actually right now. Um, but I found out this was a Steam thing, and I'm like, oh shit, I need to make Jay play this. Like, it's just gonna happen. As you So we're gonna do it. Um, <laughs> this is an interactive comic, so it's just, yeah, a lot of reading. Um, not a lot, a lot of reading, but, like, more reading than a normal game would, would have. But if we look at the left side of the, left side of the screen here, we got Meanwhile, it's not an ordinary comic. You make the choices that determine how the story unfolds. Instead of one story, Meanwhile splits off into thousands of different adventures, most will end in doom and disaster, only one path will lead you to happiness and success. Use mouse control or keyboard uh, to move through the story, whatever path you, d d d whatever, whenever the path divides, you, the reader, get to choose which panel comes next. Oof, I need to read better. It's fine. Um, yeah, so just, I guess, begin when ready. We can kind of, because like, that's all the background I can really give on this. It's just that it's a comic book, and I get to decide what happens in the comic book. Like, yeah okay yeah it is a coherent story like you don't like if you do a or b the same thing's gonna happen it's just what your character does is different if that makes sense you yeah know? it makes sense so it's like self-consistent so you have meanwhile mm -hmm. what if i click meanwhile it just makes that do that can begin the story yes ice cream yep ice cream shop nice okay i'm ready to order now okay <laughs> Oh, I can like zoom in and out. I'll just keep zooming yeah. in here so I don't get too meta with this. Okay, I'm ready to order okay. now. Yeah. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla, First choice. obviously. Very important. Very much vanilla. I, I'm not much of a chocolate ice cream person. That's just me. Here you go. <laughs> I have a feeling he was going to do the same thing either way, wasn't he? <laughs> Maybe. I'm gonna see most likely. Now he's walking down, I'm assuming, his street. Hmm. Hi, Dad, I'm <laughs> home. How was your day, son? I got a vanilla ice cream. Alright, you win. Uh, th that's one thing. <laughs> Story is under first menu to back up and start. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what's menu? Uh, yep, you got it. You got an ending. Start Good ending. What the fuck? Yep. Okay, I'm ready to order now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait. What's this loop up here? I'm confused. Uh, Chocolate. Here you go. Later. Ooh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Kepler. Well, I guess there's, I guess you're right for not choosing chocolate ice cream if it made him feel bad. Yeah, exactly. This is why everyone likes it more. Wait, so what's this Kepler place? Knock, knock. Yes. Please, mister, can I use your bathroom? It's an emergency. Sure, it's the third door on the right. Thanks. Wah. <laughs> Five minutes, Five minutes later. later. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> so now we leave or check the mirror. Um, check the mirror. Drugs and a band aid. Why was he needing a band aid? There's no band aids. I can tell. All right, now I'm oh, gonna. I was gonna leave either way. Yep. <laughs> okay, cool. And if you notice, this next panel is actually what the leaving brings you to. Thanks for letting me use your bathroom, mister. 
Anytime. And you can just call me Professor K. My name is Jimmy, so he's Jimmy. I would have never figured this out if I went with vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Welcome to my lab, Jimmy. Kill? Or it's like, the, I'm assuming, I'm going to bet this is a time machine. Kill on it. This is a time machine. I'm going to bet like $10 billion on it. It is certainly a machine with a clock on it. Yep. So it must be a machine somehow related to time. So time machine. It makes it a time machine, regardless of whether it goes back in time. Shh. Are you an inventor? Why, yes. I have over 150 patents to my name. Wow. In fact, I was just about to test some of my inventions when you walked in. <laughs> Would you like to help? I th This never ends well. This didn't w end well with Marty McFly. This isn't going <laughs> to end well with Jimmy. Yes. Well, these are my oldest and most exciting inventions. There's the Killtron, oh, sorry, Killatron 2000, my untested doomsday device. What the fuck? Then we have the squid, which can transfer memories between people. That's fun. And last is my time travel machine. Why would you say that last? <laughs> Which invention would you like to play with, Jimmy? <laughs> if you think I'm going to pick anything besides the time machine, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> Can I play with the time machine? Sure, I turned it on about ten minutes ago. So it should be ready to go about now. Oh boy, can I visit the dinosaurs? <laughs> now hold on there, I need to explain how this machine works. I'm so confused. Now, first of all, you can't go further than seven years into the past, which was when I first activated the receiving end of the time machine. Wait, that's... whoa! What? That, that's pretty cool. <laughs> like, that's a cool way to do time travel. Usually time travel, you can just go wherever you want, but this one, you have to go to at least to the point where a t the time travel, like, the time machine has been built. Yeah. That's an interesting concept. Is is the best way to refute the claim that if time travel will ever exist, then it already exists. That does refute it's it. like, really well, what if well. it's like this? <laughs> Dang, that is actually really cool. Dang, why, why don't most people think of it that way? Like, you need a starting point. Right? <laughs> That's bizarre. I like that. What if the machine itself doesn't go back in time? What if only the person inside the machine goes back in time? True. Secondly, unless you have the secret access code, you won't be able to travel more than 10 minutes into the past. Fun. But I can just keep going back 10 minutes a thousand times in a row until I've gone back seven years. I don't even need to access the code. You're forgetting it takes the machine 10 minutes to warm up. Plus, you still need the access code to turn, on in the first, turn it on in the first place. Well, then what's the point of having the access code work like that? I don't understand. So, so, so he can turn it on for it to warm up for him, and then nobody jumps in and steals and like goes back in time while he's away. True. That's my guess. Yeah, something like that. Please tell me the access code, Professor. I just want to see Fido one more time. Sorry, but I'd be happy to send you back ten minutes. Just ten minutes. Yeah, maybe I can stop myself from choosing the chocolate ice cream and getting sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then you would have never met... Oh, God. <laughs> no, I don't like that. But I like it, too, because I'm a, a big time travel nerd. Paradox time! <laughs> Good luck, little Jimmy. And so. And so. <laughs> Zap. Zap. <laughs> the fuck? He got out of the receiving end, which is totally a pressure cooker. <laughs> I fucking love that. Wow, it worked. <laughs> it's either Professor and I keep myself from causing a time paradox, or I go, but only two more minutes until I eat the ice cream. <laughs> no, I really want to see what happens if I create a paradox. But only two more okay. minutes until I eat the ice cream. Run for it. Out the Kepler Labs. Can either this doesn't matter it's just the two parallel things happening at the same time future jimmy and past jimmy oh <laughs> so the, he's still asking for vanilla can i try a sample of vanilla here you go yeah so this is like before right before he actually orders don't get the chocolate <laughs> and then they join up 
<laughs> okay, I'm ready to order now. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> so you can either pick chocolate or vanilla, or you can barge in. I'm gonna barge in. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Coming back for more, eh? Mister, something is wrong with that chocolate ice cream. Just gave me the worst tummy ache I ever had. I suppose I should throw it out then. What? The... Wait. <laughs> what is that? Okay. Whoa! I don't like <laughs> that. That that means Kepler, because that's a K, and we just saw the K. That's creepy. Does that mean Kepler? Or something such as that. Okay. I'm not sure. It'll probably explain that too. I think I get it better now. Or it's so it's something. <laughs> <laughs> now that I can see that down there, <laughs> so it's the kilotron. Why the fuck does he have a kilotron? That's a good question. Walking in on the kilotron. Hey, what's going on here? Just step away from the machine. Why do you have a kilotron back here? I said step away from the machine. Yikes. Run into the kill, try to run out the door. Do I want the story to keep going or do I, do I just want death? The story will keep going either way. Fair point. Let's go into the kill tron because if, I wonder what, what's going to happen. Kill slam. Right. No. <laughs> Once at it. Thunk. Press the button. Wait, what? You killed everyone. What have I done? Wait, I have an idea. Back to Kepler Labs. Do the shit all over again. I can still stop myself from killing everyone. Son of a bitch. Access code. Fuck. I'm gonna try entering the access code. Now, what is the code for the time machine? Shoot, I don't know. What happens if I say I know, but I don't know? Well, then you have to enter in the code. I know. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, we'll say square, triangle, circle. Damn it. Shoot, I don't know. Well, I can still go back 10 minutes. Zap. Oh, no. Kill. You killed yourself. Oh. Interesting. Because Jimmy killed everyone outside the Kilotron, and then he went back in time and was outside of the Kilotron when, he, when Jimmy hit the button. Son of a bitch. Alright, so now you don't have to start over. You can back up if you'd like. If you go, go back. Go back. Or actually, don't you actually hit menu. Sorry. Mm. Hit story so far story so far and then it gives you a little icons of every panel and you can go to one so like you can go for when jimmy ran into the killatron uh which invention would you like to play with sorry but i'd be happy to send you back 10 minutes you can go back there if you want uh let's go to the zap okay and say professor instead something such as that Wow, it worked. Professor? Where are you, Professor? <laughs> he was in the toilet. Why, hello there. Hi, I'm Jimmy. Welcome to my lab, Jimmy. <laughs> Do you like to play with some of my inventions? Okay. Well, my time machine is warming up right now. But you're welcome to come to, to you're welcome to play with the Kiltron of the squid. I am not playing with the Kilotron, so let's see what the fuck is going on with the squid. Now just put on the helmet and press the plunger to my forehead. Wait, is he gonna get all of my memories? Or Jimmy's memories? Nope. Or are you gonna- No, because Jimmy's just putting it on his head. And it's just the last ten minutes. Oh. Ouch, a cup. So he dropped his teacup. 
He said, I'll try to cut myself. I'll try to cut myself. Well, I'm not cleaning this up. I'll just go back in time to stop myself from dropping the teacup. Jesus Christ. <gasps> triangle. Square. Triangle. Alright. <laughs> Good to know. Time machine should be ready in 10 minutes. Last band-aid. I better buy some more. So Hi, good. Little boy. <laughs> Would you like to play with some of my inventions? Okay. Now just put the put on the helmet, press the plunger to my forehead. Wow. That was amazing. Oh shit. That's not good. <laughs> Who's that, Professor? Hmm, I wasn't expecting anyone. Don't go and see who it was. You're about to get a fucking paradox again. I'll go and see who it is. It's me from ten minutes ago. He'll panic when he sees you, Jimmy. You'd better find a place to hide. Bathroom, Killatron, or time machine. Not the Killatron. I'm not going to murder everyone again. That, that doesn't end well either way. Unless I have the access code. Well, think about it, right? When the feature you got here, what did he do? Oh, shit. <laughs> Can I not just put in the access code and then real fast get out of here? Or does that not work? Oh, wait, no, it's not warmed up yet. Is it? Mm, yeah, it's almost warmed up. Into the bathroom. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> he'll never fall. Oh, shit! It... <laughs> He'll never find me in here. <laughs> Physics. He picks a fuck. Ah! Bonk. So you want to hit him with a book or you want to try to explain stuff? <laughs> Let's just keep going. I know this seems weird, but I can explain everything. Who are you? Who are you? you? That's no, a good question. Yeah, you you Jimmy. can be past Jimmy. Alright. <laughs> I'm you from 10 minutes in the future. That's impossible. I'll prove it to you. Okay. About 10 minutes ago, you chose the chocolate ice cream. You're right, I did. That's because you're an idiot. <laughs> or see, I'm from the future. Now there can't be two of us here, so I'm going to try to send you back ten minutes. Which do you think? Well, up to you. I'm from the future. But then, won't there be two me's in the past? <laughs> yes, which is why you'll send that, that you back ten minutes. That's your problem. Just do as I say and step in the booth. So make this just like an infinite loop. Okay. Oh, and before you go, I thought you should know you're a moron. <laughs> I know I am, but what are you? But, sorry, I know you are, but what am I? A moron. You're not. Are you? And now there's a loop. Oh fuck. <laughs> Does this end? <laughs> nope. No. So I'm gonna uh, hit go back. I don't like this. I want to just see you from the future, etc. Should I click? Do I click that or do I click that's because? Oh wait, if I sit, click that's because you're an idiot, and then they're going to keep going back and forth, aren't they? Possibly. So see, I'm you from the future. But then will start. But then will there be two me's in the past? Hmm. So if you notice, if you take the top, if you take any of the top ones where you install them, then you hit them. To the end. Just do as I say and step in the booth. Yeah. You're not gonna let them leave peacefully. No. Okay. No. <laughs> Are you okay, me? Jesus Christ! I'll just send him back ten minutes. Professor, are you still here? Over here, Jimmy. I'm just fiddling with my memory transference machine. Would you like a demonstration? No! Not again! 
Well, if you don't want to play with the squid, I still have two more inventions. I think you'd like the Killatron in, in my time machine. Into the time machine. So there is... Okay. I mean, there is more to know about the Killatron that you can, you can discover. Let's try to fix more of the tr Killatron then. <laughs> Let's play with the Killatron. Now hold on there. The Killatron is my, my most dangerous device. It has the power to kill every living human in the universe. With the press of this red button, every human outside the booth will instantly die. And if it isn't, and if the door isn't shut tightly, you'll die too. Shouldn't I have a countdown or an access code at least? The old titanium prototype had both, but since finding some other applications for the Killtron, I have removed them. What other applications could there be? The Killtron allows me to control entropy. What's that? Allow me to demonstrate. Here, flip this coin. Flipped. Does it matter? It's just if this is just a way to simulate randomness, pick one. Heads. Heads. Now, according to the multiple worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, the universe is split in two. Yes. In one universe, the coin landed on heads, and the other, tails. Now flip it again, but this time keep the results covered. So the universe is split again? Not yet. The split act doesn't occur until we've actually observed the parity of the coin. Tails. Tails. Now we'll try this one last time, except that this time, drop the coin to the detector. I'm confused. Now the detector will detect which side is facing up, and send the results to the kilotron. Now, I've programmed it so that if it's tails, then the Killatron will activate when I press the button. If the Killatron detects heads, then it won't activate. <laughs> I'm so confused. I love the way they did this, of just the end is the universe where it was tails. Oh shit! Now, I get it now! <laughs> Fuck, that's awesome! I'll click right. end just so I can have that ending, but then I'll go back. Go back. <laughs> I bet you a thousand to one it landed on heads. I like those odds. You're on. <laughs> He's literally just like, oh, if it's tails, just end the universe. So if it's heads. <laughs> wow, how do you know? Remember, the universe is like a branching tree. The Kilotron simply allows me to trim off the branch in which the coin landed on tails. So you could go to Las Vegas and make a killing? Oh, I can do more than that. Probability is the basis of entropy. And entropy is what causes people to grow old and die. Entropy is what prevents the atoms in this book from rearranging themselves into a delicious cup tub of ice cream. Why, with this machine, I am truly the master of time and matter. That's a really bizarre way of doing that. <laughs> I don't like that. I right. really hope no no mad scientist does it that that way one day. <sighs> it's like me in this world may die, but the other me will make a killing. Like fuck, that's <laughs> kind of sadistic. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Into the Killtron, or wait outside. Is there anything else that I can figure out about the Killtron from inside? Uh, I promise you there's more to see no matter which direction you go to. That way. Cool, I'll just hide in here for a while. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Well, Everybody died. Everyone's dead. Wait, I remember this. Oh yeah, you said what have I done before too. Yeah, but that time you was at the ice cream place. If only there was some way to take that activating the Killatron. Why the fuck would I use the squid? And what know, universe would I have use the squid? This is true. This is true. In I go. I know. Isn't it? Do you remember it? Square triangle square. No. Triangle square triangle. There you go. Access code accepted. Seven years, twenty minutes, or five months. Twice or no in between. Because those are the parts that are, um, like, like important to the story. 20 minutes. 
Wow, it worked. Yeah, this is just this decision again. Only two. Do you want to go back and try a different time? Or... Yeah. Okay. Alright, so story so far. Let's go back. You can just hit go back. You can just hit go back. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Shh. <laughs> Seven years. Jimmy, can you hear me? But I'm Jimmy. Oh shit! Oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck! Jimmy, you're all grown up! Who are you? I'm your dad! I didn't think I had one of those. What's going on? You've come to help, right? Help with what? Listen, Jimmy, we don't have much time left. I just want you to know I'm so proud of you. For what? Oh, f what the fuck? <laughs> I don't understand. How did I go back again? <laughs> try, one, try five months. I don't get it. What the fuck was that? <laughs> wow, it worked. It's a good question. Of course, I'm checking for band-aids again. Oh shit, something actually came out this time. What the fuck is that? Looks like a code. Oh, Red in the bottom right. Red in the bottom right. Gotta remember that. Out I go. And back to the time machine. Yep. So now you go 20 minutes is how you continue this. 20 minutes. Wow, it worked. You actually found the time machine code much earlier than I expected you to. So, Professor... Oh, well, thank you. So, do I go Professor, or should I at, go go for ice cream again? Completely up to you. Professor. Both had more to find. Where are you, Professor? Of course he is. Why, well, hello there. Hi, I'm Jimmy. Welcome to my lab, Jimmy. I'd like to play with some of my inventions. Okay. Well, my time machine is warming up right now. But you're welcome to play with the Killatron or the Squid. I think I've seen all I can see with the Killatron, haven't I? Um, maybe. I don't know. There I... is more to see with both, I think. Let's just continue just put... with the Squid. I just put on the helmet and press the punch on my forehead. So we've seen all this. So I just skip this past how all the this. Code originally. Yep. I still can't believe, believe I found it so fast. I have a feeling I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, because see, if you did the squid from the present, it would have been too late for you to see the access code. So you could only find the access code by going back in time and then choosing squid first. True. I wasn't expecting anyone. Oh yeah, so now we're going to try meeting me, me again. Or actually, we can do something different. Wait, what happens if I click me? Oh, no. nothing. Into the time machine. Actually, can I go back? You didn't go back. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Well, I Let's didn't mean to go that far. Through them all, I suppose. Into the Killtron. Into the Killtron. Oh, God. Not again. <laughs> I mean, there's more to see. What have I done? So remember, remember, there is that option to use the squid. Um, you know, you weren't sure why you do that, but I mean, you could explore. You know, not right now. Well, I guess I have to go all the way back, don't I? Go back. I mean, you could. Okay, if you, if you want to. We'll figure out the squid option. That was what you picked. No, I was talking about the squid after you killed everyone. Oh. Yep, I, I love my life. I promise I do. God damn it, Jay. You, I, I'm your favorite. Um... Do, do, do. Oh, wait, that's copyrighted. It's murder everybody to the squid. <laughs> Let's figure out yep. what the fuck I'd, I'd do with a squid with a bunch of dead people all over. All right. <gasps> Hmm, the time frame seems to be stuck on 10 minutes. Now to reset the time frame, you need to enter the secret access code. Oh, fuck! Bottom right, red. 
<laughs> All right, access code accepted. I'll set the time frame to entire life. Wait, what the fuck? Nah. Not right now, son. I'm on the right on the verge of making time travel reality. Holy shit! No way. Wait. Uh, oh, that's you. Sorry. <laughs> totally no, fine. it's cool. Just baby me. Don't oh, touch that. I suppose. It's okay, Jimmy. I'm your dad now. What the fuck? Bye, Dad. Oh, shit. Chocolate. Oh, Jimmy. And then it's a loop because you put the plunger on yourself for your entire life. Um, and this... <laughs> so if you hit go back, it should, it should get you out of this. And now I put it on him. <laughs> Wait, does it do the same thing? Not right now, son. I'm in the verge of being time travel reality. But he actually puts it on. Can I help you? And that's not on the verge of making time travel reality. Oh no! Jimmy, can you hear me? You need to enter the access code in order to abort the countdown. It's the only way. It's no use. There is one hope. I've only got 50 minutes to complete the receiving end of the time machine. Ooh, done it with three minutes to spare. Jimmy, can you hear me? When you come out, everyone will be dead. But don't be scared. Just put on the helmet and it'll explain everything. Use my knowledge, son, to build the transmitting end of the time machine so you can return to this time and somehow abort the countdown. Goodbye. What the? This is the most meta shit. What the fuck? <laughs> He's about to become the professor, isn't he? I got to build the transmitting end of the time machine. In the meantime, I can use my kill the kill trying to make myself food and water. It's hopeless. Even with the transmitting end of my time machine complete, my kilotron is unstoppable. My H-bomb didn't even dent it. I'm all alone. All I want is a childhood, a dad, a friend to play with. I just want the world to be back the way it was. There's a way. Zap. Don't touch that! Whoa! It's okay, Jimmy. I'm your new dad now. Right now, it's just the two of us. When I grow old, I'll return to this time again. I use the kilotron to keep myself young, Jimmy. And I'll keep coming back over and over until the city is full again. Until the world is full again. I've gone back more than a million times so far. I've lived a million different lives, but in truth, I've only just begun. Holy shit. Look in my lab, Jimmy. What the fuck? Why would he walk <laughs> into the Killatron again? Like, that seems bizarre, but I'll try it. Oh, he did. Jimmy killed himself. Killed himself after the reality of what the fuck he just witnessed? <laughs> yep. Back in the time machine. Sorry, we're all out of chocolate. How's your day, son? What the fuck? Holy shit. That's bonkers, man. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? I just figured out- So somehow out. you've seen almost everything already. Fuck. That was like the main ending. Yeah, I know, that's bonkers. <laughs> right? That's the most meta so, shit I have ever seen. So this is a world where it's only Jimmy. Everybody is Jimmy. <laughs> Everybody's Jimmy, but they all have different names and stuff. That's why, J that's why that Jimmy in that ice cream shop had a Killatron. Right. Yeah. Weird. Well, technically, technically, the one thing you haven't, well, like, the, like one of the only things you haven't seen is seeing the Killatron leaving and then telling the professor about it. How do I do that? 
Um, it's probably in here somewhere. So let's go to the Zen. Scroll down some more. No, scroll down some more. Oh, that works too, I suppose. But keep keep going now, maybe. See if see if it's actually in this list. Sure. Well, okay, that works too. Whatever. I'm confused what you were meaning. No, don't don't worry about it. It's too late now. Okay. Wait. Go there. Oh yeah. See him again, like rushing through. Don't get the chocolate. No. Choosing a flavor is the same thing as choosing a flavor from the beginning. <clears throat> There's no difference. True. Where is he? Okay. Mm -hmm. Step away from the machine. Yikes. And then I run away. Slam. Professor, why does the ice cream man have a Killtron? To make ice cream, of course. I don't understand. It's simple. Just remind me later to demonstrate the non-killing applications of the Killtron. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go back. Go back again. No, that's right. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that was the right decision. Well, you can say why you won the first place. I'll tell you when you're older, Jimmy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So now hit go back again. And one more time. Go into the Killtron. And, you know, kill everybody. This is just so I can show you, like, everything. Makes sense. What have I done? We have an idea. Run back to Kill. Now you're using the squid. I can use this on the ice cream, man. You use the Killtron to make ice cream. Hmm. Oh, fresh ice cream. So that's what is that why you had such a bad <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you started eating it all and then all of a sudden it was like oh, shit. Man. Run <laughs> Man. Wait, what? I did not mean to go with it. Excuse me. Something wrong. I suppose I should throw it out. Throw there. it out then. Step away from the machine. No. no. And he was dead. Yeah. <laughs> can I use it on next? I'm assuming. Hmm. Time yeah, you can use it on the professor. Or just hit Drat. I don't know the access code actually. Drat, I don't know the access the code. You do. Well, I can still work out for ten minutes worth of memories. Oh God. <laughs> wow. What a way to go. If only there was some way I could take back activating the Killtron. Wait, there is a way. All right. Now, I think that is actually everything except for one Easter egg that you can't get to by actually making choices. How so do I do that? So hit browse the map. Browse the map. And scroll out. Dang. <laughs> right? The fuck? So is there something that catches your eye that you haven't seen in the story? <laughs> this. <laughs> yep. How the fuck do I get here? You can't. Look Look at the pipes that lead to it. <laughs> you just can't. That's the only way. Wait, what? That's a different code. That is. Triangle, triangle, circle. Interesting. Can I go back to a time machine part and you have to hit browse the map and go to the time machine because you browse the map. Where's the time machine? Bring it to the code. Should be down a bit. Down a bit. There you go. Bottom right. Bottom right. Okay. So it's triangle, triangle, circle. Oh nope. Wait, didn't mean that. Just hit like the I know button. 
Sure, that works too. I know. Triangle, triangle, circle. Yeah. Meanwhile, where am I? We call this the land of the. We call this land Ultima. This is one of the many places in this world you cannot get to by choosing. But I thought I died. You can never die, Jimmy. You're immortal. How? For the same reason that Kiltron was unable to kill you when you were flipping the coin. You see, every second the universe splits off into an infinite number of parallel universes, each one as real as the, la as the rest. As a physical array of matter, it is a mathematical certainty that you survive in at least one branch of every split. From your point of view, the ones you aren't in simply get trimmed off like branches from a tree. And all your friends who you thought you lost to death are alive as well, just in other universes where you cannot get to them, temporarily. It is the realization of our immortality that makes this world a utopia. Welcome to Ultima. That's bizarre. And that's the yeah, and that's like the Easter egg ending. That's everything. That's the whole game. Like you, you surprisingly got that really quickly. What's the other meanwhile? No, that's just like when you're hiding in the time machine. Which oh. is the same thing as hiding in the in the bathroom, except for it. Yeah. It takes longer. That's awesome. Yep. That's so cool. It's quite the story, isn't it? I just can't get over the fact that it's a land full of jimmies. Right? Like, that's the most... Isn't like, such a bizarre plot twist. It's so cool. I've never heard of anything like this before in my life, and I love it. It's so good. I've got to show you some of other some other Jason Shiga's work, because there's, there's a lot of good ones out there. I think my mind just got blown up. <laughs> the fuck? I'm pretty sure all of Jason Shiga's work blows, works blow your mind. Like, they just do. He's working on- oh my god, you know what? We're gonna tack on to the end of this video a reaction to his latest project that he's working on, and has been working on for years. Okay. It's like a very quick video. Um, here, let me- Alright, let's see what the fuck is going on here. Now we're back- see, it just took two seconds, and we're here. Um, <laughs> the box preview. So this is- yeah, so this is a, a preview of his project, The Box. Alright? Uh, and this is something that he's still working on, I'm pretty sure, but, like, I hope he's still working on it. I think, like, I've heard that he's still working on it, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, this is quite the crazy comic. Go ahead. What's up? I'm Jason Chiga, here in Angoulême, France, with a sneak peek at my upcoming project, The Box. I've spent the last year planning and laying out what will be my most ambitious project to date, and I'm excited hmm. to share with you my progress so far. Come with me. You can see here an example of how the book would look in its finished form. The box is actually composed of two books joined across a, a third spine. <laughs> Follow the story from panel to panel by these tubes, like in my previous book, Meanwhile. But in the box, you can actually follow the tubes across the third spine and into the pages of the other book. That's so bizarre. This third spine between the red book and the blue book that allow the pages to be turned independently of each other. Turned As you can see in this early prototype, the independently moving pages create a system capable of storing information. Holy crap. Such as inventory, time, and even location. In the inventory box, time and even location to your hometown. I've never you seen or heard anything like this before. And the fiction story right? Story. And these tabs, by the way, with the these hooks at the end, that's how meanwhile is. And as uh, a girl, a girl but it's just one, but not map of two. Your world changes along with you. While the two elements of your world, the neighborhood and the city, are always the same, the elements are combined or repeated to form new geometric shapes Dang, for each chapter. Holy crap. The box features a functioning clock, a fully explorable city, Eight bits of storage, a fractal maze, two crafting sessions. What the fuck? Fine model, over 100 different endings, a fold-out cube, an automated inventory system, and roughly 7.8. That's and bonkers. Six possible non-repeating pathways through the book. Whew. That's a lot. Being able to work on this project has been a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Thanks to the Maison des Auteurs, France, and you, my readers, for the support throughout the years. And stay tuned for the box. Holy shit, that's incredible. Alright, that's awesome. I think that's really cool, and I want to be able to see that whenever it gets figured out. So, first of all, what what you think? 
overall. One of the most bizarre experiences that I think I've ever had, but in the best way possible, if that makes sense. <laughs> that was a good Sunday game. That was a really good Sunday game. I really enjoyed being able to wa- play that entire story out, have it to be the most meta thing in the entire world by the end of it. My mind completely <laughs> blown, yet there's still more to do, you know? Yeah. Like, there's no, so I'm, much I'm, that I'm, thing yeah. to do. It's crazy. And if any of you guys don't know who Jason Chica is, check him out. He's, like, really talented. His YouTube channel only has, like, 700 subscribers, which is not very much for someone who creates stuff. Um, True. Like that. His Twitter, I think he's got a couple thousand on Twitter, but, like, that's not much for a, com- for a comedy. So certainly check him out. He's great. Um, I-, I absolutely love him. We might do more stuff from him. We'll see. Uh, but other stuff, none of the other stuff is that interactive. It's mostly just like comics. Unless the box comes out, and we can find a way to do that. That'd be kind of cool. If we can figure out a way to do the box, then I'd be down. But if not, then we're good. Yeah, we'll see. We'll figure All it right. out. So, ladies and gentlemen, as usual, we're going to run an outro. Thank you all very much for <laughs> for watching. It, it, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed me losing my absolute, like, every brain cell. <laughs> that ever existed because I was trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. Um, yeah. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below and tell us what you thought. Subscribe and hit post notifications if you want to see what we're doing next. And join our Discord, please. It's down in the yeah, description, please. It, it, it doesn't kill you. It's free. Just come, come into the Discord and come hang out. And why the fuck <laughs> yeah, did the, yeah. What the fuck did the video start playing all of a sudden there for a second? It's fine. Oh, gosh. It's fine. It's not the end all of the right. world. I, I figured it out. So thank you all very much. I love you. Peace. Yeah, I love you guys. Bye.